Hey everyone, it's Adam here from Tesla Australia. Welcome back to another video. Well, today I wanted to just take you through my Tesla Powerwall 2 installation as well as solar uh, and also the high power wall connector that I've had recently installed and how that's currently set to charge my Tesla Model 3 using nothing but the solar output as well as the battery uh, storage. So from the Tesla uh, Powerwall 2s, um, not reliant on the grid. So basically just using all the energy that we are producing from solar and storing in battery and uh, discharging that into the car to uh, not rely on the grid usage. So I'm gonna take you through the setup first and then we'll jump in the car and we'll have a look at some of the data from the car as well as the Tesla app. So here we are in my garage and I've got my Tesla Powerwall 2s here that are mounted on my eastern wall of the, of the garage. So again, here's the first Tesla Powerwall 2 here. Uh, just next to it is the second Powerwall 2. And then more recently um, installed last week, I've got the high power wall connector, which is connected at, uh, th it's on a 32 amp breaker, uh, three phase. So again, I'll get the full charging rate of about 11 kilowatts uh, on my Tesla Model 3, which is great. And then just next to that, I've got the, the Tesla Gateway. Uh, and then in this enclosure here, I've got the, the Enphase uh, Envoy uh, system here that's used to uh, monitor all the data from the micro inverters that are under each solar panel on the roof. I've also done a previous video that, uh, that outlines the, the entire solar system uh, with some drone shots of the roof. So I'll link to that above just so you get a good feel for the entire system. Um, so the system is 11.8 kilowatts of uh, Trina Honey panels on 10.3 kilowatts of Enphase micro inverters. So uh, I get fairly good output on this system during summer, um, more than enough excess to be able to feed back enough into the grid to, to make quite a good profit throughout the summer months. Um, and definitely sort of break even to maybe making a slight profit in the in the colder months. So again, really impressed with the solar system. Um, now we'll have to sort of wait and see in terms of the car and charging it here, uh, in terms of uh, how much that sort of credit drops. But I certainly foresee myself still being ahead based on the the high feed-in tariff that I'm on, as well as the uh, the amount of solar that's producing, uh, especially in the warmer months. All right, so let's grab the wall charger here and plug it in, and we'll have a look at how we go charging from solar. Okay, so we're plugged in, and we're blue, and we're charging, so we'll just have a look at the wall connector. Okay, so we can see there we are charging. And if we have a look on the side of the power walls, we'll probably start to see them blinking now because we will be pulling some power from the power walls as opposed to just solar. So let's uh, let's jump in the car and have a look at the display. All right, so we're sitting in the car and we've just plugged in. So we can see here we are charging at 11 kilowatts, uh, 16 amp three phase, uh, 248 volts currently. Uh, so we have 25% stated charge at the moment, set to charge up to 80%, uh, and that the current state will be charged in just over four hours. So if we have a look now at the Powerwall app, so we'll just uh, have a look here, you'll see that the Powerwall is actually discharging right now. So if we have a look at the power flow, you can see here we're currently grabbing just over six kilowatts from the power walls and eight kilowatt from the just under eight kilowatt from the solar so the house currently right now is is pulling just under 14 and a half kilowatts so more than half is coming from solar the other half is coming from the power walls which is great so not using any grid utilization here at all at the moment which is great so what I'll do is I'll, um, I'll ramp it down the charging rate just so I'm not pulling so much from the power walls and uh, we'll have a look at what that shows on the power wall app in a second. Okay, so we've ramped it down here to 10 amps here, down from 16 amps. Um, and then if we have a look at the power wall app here now, we can see again we're grabbing about seven and a half kilowatts from solar and the power wall is filling in the rest at two and a half kilowatts here. Uh, sending that into the house. So again, basically full charging here completely from the house, nothing from the grid combination of power usage as well as 
uh, usage coming from solar as well. So what I might do is I'm going to step it down again um, and just see if we can uh, get this going just from solar based off the Tesla app and the time of use settings that I've got currently set. So we've just stepped it down to eight amps again. So basically half the charging rate here that uh, that I can get off my three phase system. And now if we have a look at the Powerwall app, we can see that we're using zero Powerwall right now. So again, 7.8 kilowatts from the solar. The house is now consuming 7.6 kilowatts or 7.5 now. And just that little bit of trickle going to the grid. Um, obviously the solar now has just dropped uh, a little bit or the house consumption's just jumped a little so it's now pulling that from the grid which uh, today it's quite hazy and smoky here uh, on the central coast so the solar uh, is a little bit sort of fluctuating at the moment so but overall a, a great result so again using a mix of solar and power wall to charge my tesla model 3 which is a which is a great result as always, thank you very much for watching. I uh, do appreciate you watching as always. Um, thumbs up if you like this video. Uh, comment below if you'd like me to cover anything more specifically regarding uh, anything solar, anything Tesla, uh, Model 3, and I'll uh, look to cover that on a future video. So as always, thanks so much for watching. Please consider subscribing if you like this content, and I will catch you on the next video. Bye for now.